multi-pads. We all know multi-pads from Yamaha keyboards and I did something completely different with it. I assigned audio clips from my USB stick directly to the multi-pads. Of course we know multi-pads. For example, if I go to this dance track, I have arpeggiators assigned to the multi-pads like this. Or if I have a fusion track, for example, I assign some percussion to it. That's completely clear, but now I assigned audio. So how did I do that? Well, first of all, how did I get this fantastic vocal pieces like this? I found them on a CD with a great remix and we had all these vocal ad-libs in the end, all these vocal clips and I imported them in my computer. But of course I wanted to cut them in pieces because I wanted to assign them all separately to the multi-pads and that's why I used Cubase. I imported the audio files into Cubase and there I could cut all the little clips and store them as separate audio files. So all I had to do then is store these new little audio clips on my USB stick and then plug the USB stick into my S950. But I still have to assign these audio clips to my multipads. How does that work? Well, I switched to the multipad page just like that by selecting it. And of course this is where you assign all your arpeggiators, normally your Latin percussion loops and all that. I am not going to do that. I'm going to go to a new one. It's called audio link. And as soon as I do that, I can literally assign the audio to multipad one, two, three, and four. And then I'm basically done. Hey. 